Hey Positive Readers, it's Positive Writer today with another video and today I'm going to be unboxing books for everybody. I'm super excited for this. I hardly ever buy books because I only really buy books that I have read already and liked because I don't like to own books I don't like because somebody else can be reading it. Luckily I did find a bookstore this year in my state that, um, a used bookstore, so I can give them my books and then get book credit and then get new books. And so, I get to give back to the book community, even if I don't like something, and so I'm excited about that. But I bought some books recently from bookshop.org, and Bookshop is great, you should check them out. I spent, like, so much money that they sent me a gift card, and then I bought another book the next day. So, I definitely highly recommend them, plus some of your, some of the money from your purchase goes to support local bookshops I bought personally from a local uh, bookstore in my city. And so, I'm super excited to just continue supporting them, and just bookstores in general, and bookshop as a whole, because they're a really nifty, uh, really cool and convenient uh, place to get books from, and they also give back to the community of people who actually do sell them physically. And so, yeah, today we're going to be unboxing some books. These are the books. The box is open. Let's go. The first book that I got is The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. This is a beautiful copy, by the way. I'm really glad that I paid um, for the new copies because it's just beautiful. And um, this is my sister's favorite book in the world. And so I'm going to be reading this, and then we're going to be get to talk about it. And I remember she told me, like, we're going to get some lunch or something and, like, talk about it intensively because of how much she loves it. And so I'm really excited to read this because I love my sister, and I love good books. And so mix, mixing those things is so cool. Um, I guess I'll stack them up right here. I'll move my mouse out of the way. I'll stack them up right here. Uh, oh, my gosh. The, the books that are on the top, guys, I'm going to run away. The next one is Skin of the Sea by Natasha Bowen. It's so crazy seeing these books in my possession. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I just love the fact that I have this right now. Because I follow this author on Instagram. I've been following this book since I've heard about it, and so I'm, I can't believe it's here. I can't believe it's out. I, I just love this, and I'm so excited to read this because it's amazing. Um, it's a fantasy. It has a black girl on the cover. I'm just really excited. Um, super excited to read this. Again, YA fantasy, mermaids, black people. <laughs> read the book. Anyway, oh gosh, I'm so excited. I forgot this book was in here. This is like the first one I bought. Oh my god. Okay. The Forgotten Girl by India Hill Brown. Um, fun fact. India Hill Brown. I've been following India since she was on BookTube, and she still is, but I've been following her since like 2015 when I joined BookTube. And so to see her now flourishing as, a, as an author, you know, this is not even her only book. Like, she has another one coming out soon, and then she's going to write another one soon about a black boy, a romance about a black boy. I'm so excited. But um, I can't believe this girl is out here, like, doing these big things. I'm so excited for her. I'm so proud of her. And so The Forgotten Girl is going to be my first read of hers, and I'm so excited to read it. It's so great. I mean, it's basically like a horror, middle grade horror book. Um, and basically on the back it says, do you know what it feels like to be forgotten? And I, I think that there are two friends that go out, and then they find the gravestone of this girl, and then some stuff starts happening to the main character, and then they have to figure out what's going on with this. And I love that. And I mean, I love friendship. I love, um, uh, middle grade horror. I'm so excited. I just love books, guys. Like, I'm just, I could fall out right now because of how beautiful these books are. The next one is Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky. I am so excited to read this. I love this. It's a middle grade about a black boy. Ooh, ooh. If you can tell, this is definitely a trend. Um, I just really want to read black. I want to do everything black. I, you know, I, I mean, it's kind of hard not to. But you know what I mean. Like, I really just want to support, like, black authors and really read their stories and really just consume them and just chow. Thank you, Roseanne Brown and A Song of Race and Ruin for getting me to realize how important this is and how much I love to do it. <laughs> so anyway, so excited to read this. Middle grade. It's a black boy, he's feeling very much like he's not strong, like he couldn't save his friend. Uh, and then he stumbles upon this like crazy world, because he has to go live on the farm with his family. Uh, and so he stumbles on this crazy like fantasy world, and now he has to do some crazy shit to get it to to get the world back on track. And I'm super excited for this. Um, I love middle grade novels. I don't think I've ever read middle grade novels as much as I want to read them right now, which is cool. And so I'm really excited for this. I mean, I'm just so excited. I just it keep staring at this <laughs> But yeah, I'm just so excited, is what I'm saying. Um, I really appreciate Rick Riordan because he really, endorsing these means a lot to me because it gets to us and I appreciate it. And so I keep feeling that. I keep feeling that. Yeah. But anyway, uh, I love the covers. I didn't expect it to be this long, but I'm really, really excited. Like, oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'll get that out last because I'm super excited. 
Okay, the next one is African Icons. 10 People Who Shaped History by Tracy Baptiste. And it's illustrated by Hillary V. Wilson. Thank y'all, because I love y'all. And I really wanted to get this because it was on Bookshop. And again, I, I went to an actual, like, the, the bookshop basically lets you create your own bookshop and then sell books from that shop. And so, obviously, these local bookstores are on there. And they have, like, an online version of their bookstore on Bookshop. And the one in my city had this on there. This isn't on my TBR or anything. Again, that's another thing. All these books are on my TBR, so I can't wait to make a dent in it. But anyway... And so, I was like, oh my gosh, again, A Song of Race and Ruin really just changed my life in every way. It really reminded me how important it is to have a culture and to realize what that is and then to then learn about it and stuff like that and to educate ourselves about it. Um, and so, really got me excited about African culture and reading African, like, actual stories and obviously fiction too. And so, this was a, this is a great, this is a great opportunity for me to have something on hand that I get to learn more about African people and our history and people who are important, you know, to us, actually, you know, not just people in the U.S., like, actual people from where we were born, where we, where we were originated from, and so I'm just really, really excited to read this, I mean, you know, like, I just think that it's gonna really change my life, because these are real people, you know, it's like reading a fantasy novel and realizing that you're the main character, almost, and I'm super, super excited for this, um, please pick this up also, just because, I mean, what, you know, I, I can't wait to read this, I'm so excited, the last book in here, oh, Ooh, like, ooh. The last book in here is Beast of Prey by Ayanna Gray, y'all. I am so excited to read this book. Like, mmm. Again, I have been heavy on the Instagram. Not even lately, but like in a couple a couple months ago, maybe like September, October, I was very heavy on the Instagram. And some of the, some of the, like, I was really like up these black authors behind. Like, I was like, what y'all doing? What y'all writing? Give it to me. And one of the authors that I was up the behind of is Ayanna Gray, and I've been following her, and she's been, like, documenting her journey, how her books come out, and, like, deadlines, and just stuff, and I've really just been eating it all up, and, um, obviously I know she's black, and then when I, like, saw some, like, fan art for the kid, I'm like, oh my god, she's black, too, like, obviously black people don't have to only like black people, okay, but the fact that I was like, wait a minute, it's another fantasy novel? Uh, pretty sure it's dual point of view. Uh, black boy and girl. Oh, uh, like I really, again, it was around the same time as the song of Race and Ruin. So, finding out this book also exists just got me wanting to run. Like, I got me wanting to just immediately snatch it off any shelf. And so, I got it. So excited to read this. I'm like gonna run. Like, I am so excited to read this. It is so good. I'm so excited. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna stare at this while I keep talking, so I'm gonna put this down. Anyway, though, those were the books that I got from Bookshop. Super excited to be supporting, um, local bookstores and just, uh, getting books. Okay, yeah, these are the books that I got from Bookshop. Uh, I hope that you have read some of these and enjoyed them, and if not, pick them up and read them and hopefully enjoy them. Super excited to read and enjoy these myself. Some of these I will be reading, oh my gosh, no. Some of these I will be reading for my, um, in November, um, in addition to rereading Asshole War, because yes, I am doing that. Uh, but some of these, again, are on my TBR for the other thon and for the Read 2021 thon. And so whenever I read them, you'll hear a lot about it because I'm excited to read these. I actually have some other books coming too that are not going to make it into this video, but I've just been getting a lot of books. So look forward to me talking about those. Uh, I love y'all. I hope y'all are having a beautiful day. I wish kind of hurts now. <laughs> have a beautiful day. Read black books. Read black authors. I love y'all. Peace out.